If I make you a drink, can you come into my room and hustle with me? I need a partner for my dance class. I mean, if you fix me a drink, I'll come in and clean your bathroom. <laughs> I think when I read the script, I almost kind of couldn't believe it was true. It seemed so um, bizarre, honestly, the idea of a, a Hollywood film icon in a small terraced house in Liverpool, you know, at the end of her days. Gloria Graham was an incredibly interesting woman. She was a great femme fatale from the 50s noir movies. I was completely unaware of who Gloria Graham was before we made this film, and, and I kind of wanted to keep that. So I really kind of wanted that sense of he didn't really care who she was or if she was an actress, and he didn't know she won an Oscar, and he just had these feelings for this woman. And, and in a way, I guess they were kind of kindred spirits, I suppose. There isn't really a lot of hard data about her. She was famous. She won an Academy Award. She was married to very famous people. A couple of them were. But in terms of her actually describing her own life, there isn't a lot there. So that made me very feel very careful. I, I didn't want to make any assumptions. And it, in the end, what's really important is Peter Turner's picture of Gloria. And that's really what we made the movie about. I wanted the film to just be, to be very intensely about them. And I didn't want to go away from that story. So, you know, we went from one scene to the other just seamlessly and back again, you know. And that was very important um, for the film and for the, for the rhythm of the film and the, the fluidity of it was very important for us, you know. Say it again, Peter. Liverpool. Oh. You know you got it. If Has anyone ever told you you look like Lauren Bacall when you smoke? Yeah. Humphrey Bogart. Oh. I didn't like it then either.